Okay guys, so Floor 5 Dungeons came out, and with it came a bunch of new stuff, but most importantly, the Warp Reforged Stone. Now, if you don't know what the Warp Reforged Stone is, it's basically a Reforged Stone which adds the Warp Reforged to an aspect of the end. Now, you might be saying, so what, it's just a Reforged Stone. But what if I told you that if you applied the Warp Reforged Stone to an aspect of the end, it literally deals more damage than the Midas Sword. I'm gonna be honest, this weapon is completely broken. It's on par with the Midas Sword, which is like 35 million coins more expensive. Also, after you add the Warped Reforged, it turns into a Dungeon Sword, so it literally deals more damage than every other weapon while in Dungeons, except for the Midas Sword, but you need Catacombs 30 or something for that, so... You know, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I mean, it's not like people are gonna play Dungeons anymore, because if you're a healer or a tank class, you can't actually get loot anymore due to the new updates, so... No one's gonna play those classes, and everyone's gonna die, so, yeah, but, you know, but besides that, it's great for dungeons. Anyway, now I'm gonna play the clip I recorded before of me obtaining one of these swords. Okay, so I'm currently on my island right now, and I'm waiting for Markiv to get the, the aspect of the end thing. He's currently enchanting it and stuff, so I'll have all the footage of that, maybe, if he recorded it, hopefully he did. I'll have the footage of that playing now. Three, two, one, go. Oh. That looks so good. And now for the hot potato books. Okay, so I got this Vipin guy. He said he can, like, add the reforge stone for me. So let's hope I don't get scammed. I'm giving him the money and re warped stone and... AOTE. I got him from the Skyblogs Z Discord server. He had like 1,000 reps, so he probably shouldn't scam me, right? You anyway guys, I got the sword. It's totally not like I had the sword the whole time. Y yeah, I, I totally didn't have the sword. I'm not recording this like five times like after the thing and this toy is in a voiceover because the audio got messed up. Cough, no, the, what's happening? I, I don't know what's happening. Okay guys, we're in the end now and um... Why is this guy e-boying? Like, why? The, the, you can just you can stab them like this. 17,000 Okay, that was... That was a huge amount of damage. 8,000 damage. And I just... I got insta-killed because I forgot to wear armor. I need to wear its armor. I forgot to do that. But anyway, I dealt like 17,000 damage without armor. And no pet. So I'm gonna get the armor and pet out. Uh, I forgot to do that. Okay, guys, so for this part of the video, the audio came out really bad. So I'm just gonna talk over it now. Anyway, I was able to deal about 33,000 damage using the Aspect of the End with my current setup. So now I decided to try it out with the Teleport Savvy ability, which buffs the Aspect of the End damage by 15 because my Enderman pet isn't legendary or epic and it isn't level 100. Now I drink my Critical and Strength potion, which is the usual potions that I drink for Enderman slaying and stuff when I was using my Raider's Axe, which I sold to buy this weapon, so you know, th that's... That happened. With Teleport Savvy, I was able to deal around 43,000 damage. And without it, I was able to deal 39,000 damage. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what you can do to increase the damage after a weapon. And this is besides just the basic stuff like using a bear tuba and getting a god potion and stuff like that. Uh, these are things you can do specifically for this weapon to increase its damage. The first thing you do is get strong dragon armor. And uh, the reason it has to be strong dragon armor is because strong dragon armor's full set bonus adds 75 damage to the aspect of the end, making it much stronger. That's just a flat damage increase right there. The second ability isn't as useful, but it still gives you plus 5 strength when you use the teleportation ability, so it just adds to teleport savey. The second thing you need is a level 100 legendary or epic enderman pet. And the reason for this is because the Enderman Pet's second ability, Teleport Savey, gives you plus 50 damage every time you use the Teleport ability. Which is, again, just a huge damage increase right there, basically making it stronger than a Midas Sword and almost as strong as a Gilded Midas. So yeah, those are the ways you can increase your damage output. I'm going to go back to where I recorded the outro. Anyway, that was the aspect of the end. I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible because I have information from reliable sources that 30 Virus is going to upload a video about this too. And I have to upload this before him or everyone is going to say that I copied him. Just like they said I copied Refraction for my Ember Armor video even though I literally don't watch Refraction's videos.